Lantern Island Grange Arts Centre has been around for nearly 50 years now. We were founded back in 1966 by the Cumbran Development Corporation. But now we're a registered charity, so we uh, all work for the charity which is about community engagement. And the whole ethos of the centre is to promote the arts and culture of the region. So our idea is to bring some of the best work that's being produced in Wales and nationally and internationally to be shown here at the centre but also to promote the work of local artists and to promote that not only here uh, within Cumbran but on a regional and national level. It's about creating a sense of the, the local economy in that there are artists, there are practitioners, there are craftspeople and they are an important part of the, the economic mix and so by presenting their work here, we're ensuring that those people are staying within the region and not being pulled to places like Cardiff or Bristol, Manchester or London. And showing that you can make a living as an artist or a practitioner, you know, here in uh, South East Wales. One of the important things uh, for us here at Lantana Grange Arts Centre is our educational work. It's right at the core of the ethos of what we do and it's uh, embedded in everything that, uh, that the centre does. Uh, we have a senior education officer and her role is to develop uh, the work that we do within schools, a wider community. So for instance we'll do residency projects, we'll be sending artists and craftspeople into schools to work. Also schools come here, look at the exhibitions, meet artists and learn the skills and processes. And we do some activities like during the, the school holidays where we're employing local artists and support workers to actually deliver then a programme of activities for young people to keep them sort of uh, not only entertained but add to the educational work that they're doing. So for instance over a holiday they'll be coming here doing workshops etc but that links indirectly back to the national curriculum. What we feel is important to visitors to the centre is that there's a, a wealth of different experiences that they can come to. So people might come to see to the galleries to see the exhibitions. Now they change every sort of six to seven weeks. So throughout the year, there should be a variety of different types of things that should meet everyone's tastes or ideas. As well as that, we have a cafe. So some people just come to use this for a place to have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee have lunch, meet friends, socialise. We have a knitting group, the Knitting Kutch, that basically meets on a regular basis, informal way of just sort of socialising and learning about knitting skills. And there's our craft shop as well, which presents some of the, the finest sort of contemporary craft work being produced locally and nationally. The centre believes that not only the economic impact of the arts and culture, but also the educational and therapeutic aspects of it are vitally important. And as a small organisation, you know, our key thing is that we meet our charitable objects, and that is really about you know, promoting the sense of um, economy, education, learning, and basically empowerment for the local community.